If you'd like to see more how-to upholstery videos and learn more tips and tricks, click the subscribe button to keep up to date with our latest videos. Click the notification bell to be notified when we upload new videos. If you like this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up so we can make more content that you enjoy. Thanks for watching. Hi guys, Neil here with Facelift Interiors. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I upholstered the steep button TV frame. It was an idea I saw a couple of years ago, a guy on YouTube made a frame for a TV and I quite like the idea. When I tried to do it myself, I found that my TV wasn't really suitable. This TV's got quite a deep back on it, so it wouldn't sit nice and flush. So what I decided to do was basically put some foam onto the MDF, deep button it, pinned it on and it came out really well. As you can see, TV sits back in nice and flush out, there's no gap all the way round. I also done buffet as well to match, because we've got a young son now. Buffet, I turned it into like an Ottoman storage box, because there's toys everywhere. This is probably the tightest it will ever be. So I'll show you how I made this deep button Ottoman in next week's video. So if you want to see how I deep button tufted this TV frame, keep on watching. So what I'm doing here is I'm cutting the wood to size using a circular saw, and here I'm stapling the wood together. And I use some Hessian to secure the joints. Once there's foam on it, it's going to be pretty secure. Now I'm gluing two inch white foam onto the frame. So here I'm working out where my diamonds are going to be. Drawing center lines and using skewers to work out the best way for the diamonds to finish. And once I've decided, I start drawing on the diamond lines. Then I'll drill out the diamond holes. So using the 30 mil round drill bit in reverse, because trust me, if you start going the, forward, then you're gonna chew up the foam. Hi guys, right, so I'm gonna try and explain here what's going on. So this is behind my TV at home. I made this to get a nice fit with the TV, because the TV's got quite a wide back on it, so it doesn't sit nice and tight to the frame. It looks a bit untidy with all the diamonds. What I've done is, so the top is wider than the bottom, but this much isn't seen. They're gonna look the same, and the sides are gonna look the same. I basically made this to the TV unit. In an ideal world, I would have made the top wider and the bottom wider, but it's done now. What I've done here is, I tried to make it even, so the diamonds flow all the way around. They're the same size, all the way around. Here, up with the purple, I tried to change the size of the diamonds, see if it worked, it didn't. So I kept them the original size. I had to do them quite small, these diamonds, because of how small this bottom piece is. So the bottom determines the size of the diamonds, and then I've had to follow that all the way up. So it evenly flows all the way up. That's that part done. I've drilled out all the holes, and so now I've got to just drill through with the holes. Then I've got to mark the fabric. What I'm going to do with the fabric is, because I can railroad the fabric, I can run it. Because it's a vinyl, it doesn't have a pile on it, so it doesn't have to run down. I can run it across ways. Railroading it gives you, which means running the fabric across ways, gives you more fabric. Don't have to put seams in it, but we'll see. Yeah, that's me explaining why the diamonds are as they are. So yeah, onwards, we'll see how it goes. Whee! So what I'm going to have to do now is measure the fabric. So I'm going to use a soft tape, push down into the holes, and measure along. I'm going to see if I can get it out of one width. That would be fantastic, but I'm not sure if it's going to happen. It looks it looks like it's going to be too wide. So I'm going to have to put a join in it somewhere. So I'll show you this bit step by step. Keep on watching. So I'm going to go really tight. Pull the fabric nice and tight. Thank God. So that 
58. So what I'm doing here is I'm marking out the diamonds on the fabric so it's easy to follow. And this is it all marked out, cut out the middle because we didn't need it. So I can follow these marks when I'm doing the buttoning. And here I'm showing you the allowances, so that is the original size. That's the allowance, it's an inch and a quarter top to bottom and an inch and a quarter side to side for allowing the fabric to pull down into the hole. So now I'm adding Dacron, it's an extra soft bit of padding, it makes it easier to work on the foam as well. Then I'm pushing my fingers through onto the holes to open them up. So I'll start my first mark, which is the centre. Loop the button through, pull it through, and then staple off underneath. You can see I use a hair dryer because this vinyl is not as soft as I'd like it to be. So I'm using the hair dryer to warm it up and make it nice and soft. Dressing each pleat as I go. So we're going to speed this video up now because we didn't want it to be like a day long but if you'd like to see a smaller simpler version we'll put a link above to a smaller headboard that we've done not so long ago
So here it is, finished product on the wall with the TV, really happy with it. And here it is with the backlighting. Thanks for watching.